hi in this tutorial i want to talk to you about uh, bug life cycle so first before we go with this image i want you to know what exactly is this bug life cycle uh, this is the time span between the bug found to the closed successfully in our uh, bug trapping uh, tra uh, tracking or defect tracking template this whole life cycle is about the time span and that's what we are going to explain in detail how this works now the first when the defect is found it is logged as new and then tester verifies if the bug is valid or not then tester finds that if it is not valid then it will not be further assigned and then defect is defect tracking template it is closed in second life cycle tester finds this bug and then verifies it and if it is valid then it, then he assigns the status as open and then report it to the development team where the uh, developer sees the status new status of the bug if he finds the defect valid then he will keep it pending or he can reject it by saying re pending rejected and then it goes back and then from the development side it is marked as rejected when project manager or test leader also verifies that this is not valid then the status of that bug is closed again in life cycle 3 tester finds the bug assigns a priority as new verifies if it is valid or not then pushes again to the development side developer valid validates the bug if it is valid bug then it, he assigns it as assigned then problem if fixed then given back to the tester to validate if the problem is not fixed tester will reopen and then that issue goes again back to the developer this goes on until tester finds it valid or developer confirms it as valid if both of them are in conflict then test manager or project manager will take the further decision in life cycle 4 uh, when tester finds the bug assigns the priority as new and then it could be high medium uh, then he checks the status which is new pushes to the development side then developer validates it if it is valid bug or not then gives again back to the testing side they va validate it and if it is verified then it is status changes to verified and then project manager or test leader will close the bug after that there is one more case where test finds the bug assigns the priority also assigns the status and when he pushes to the development side if, if the bug is related to the feature which is going to be deprecated or will not be considered in the current version then it will be deferred or rejected again that is the case with bug life cycle uh, there are approximately six to seven cases where we are going to go through this each and every box of status before we can say our bug is fixed or we kept on reopening or rejected or deferred so 
this is the way work is found then fixed and verified and finally gets closed I hope you find this tutorial useful thank you